Hey guys, so Magic the Gathering is basically on fire. So Magic the Gathering is being represented in more and more locations, more larger YouTubers like Penguin Zero and Pay Money Wubby, or I guess content creators, because I think Pay Money is on mostly Twitch. They are getting into Magic the Gathering. Of course, we know about Post Malone and him buying the ring, the one of one ring chase from Lord of the Rings. And even uh, athletes like Hunter Pence, he lives in Houston. He has a game store here. They are really promoting Magic the Gathering. And who would have thought? So Magic, I would have said, was on Death's doorbell. I would have said that. I would say, you know what? Probably not a uh, good time to get in Magic just a few years ago. And they've turned it around. Now, what? how did they exactly do this? Surprisingly, it was Universe Beyond. Again, not entirely sure how in the world that happened. That I, I wasn't very positive about Universe Beyond. I thought it was going to fail. But it did incredibly well. And in the long term, I would say that it, it's the bread and butter moving forward for Magic the Gathering. It is a way that people are going to collect it more and who want to enjoy it more and hey i was wrong about it so i can admit that i was wrong so here's pay money wabi and his stack of graded cards not only are they bringing you know he's he's grading cards with cgc not my favorite company but they do have a partnership with him but they're bringing other companies other content creators with them into this space Magic cards have, especially the older ones, have only gotten more and more expensive as time has gone on. I don't expect that to stop. A lot of people say, oh, I quit Magic, but then they still play Magic. Magic is mechanically the best card game that has ever existed. Richard Garfield knew what he was doing, and the team that does Magic the Gathering isn't bad. Uh, Universe Beyond, the way they, they incorporate it, not everybody, it's... I used to make fun of Marrow for the statement that he made. It's not for you, right? Like every set used to be for everybody. Now, now every secret layer, if you like it, you buy it, you hate it, you buy it. It's uh, fascinating to really see the evolution of magic. I would say in the last two years, they turned the ship around. Is it Cynthia Williams? Is it some other person? Is it some other reason they turned the ship around? I don't really know. All I can say is they did a fantastic job doing it. And you have to give them the flowers when it's time. You know, I'm not going to say otherwise. Um, when you get a lot of influencers, like, and you might be like, oh, Penguin Z, he's addicted to opening cards. Of course he would do that. No, it wasn't guaranteed. He could easily do Pokemon, and he actually does a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! in the past. So I remember a few different episodes, one where he was buying Pokemon cards, uh, and he was just meeting, like, shady people, like, outside in the car for lots of money to buy their cards and the second one and probably most important one was like when he was addicted to like chasing i believe they're called starlight rares and Yu-Gi-Oh. so it could he could have easily gone down Yu-Gi-Oh again he could have easily gone down pokemon but commander is such a effing good game like everything is commander commander this commander that like it is such a fun game to play um, I'm teaching my significant other commander, and she doesn't really play many card games, and she loves it. Uh, it. It's not difficult to understand why. Every game is, it feels like it's a totally new game. And when you add more players, uh, we're trying to expand our player group. Now that, now that we don't, we used to play a lot of Pokemon Go, so we used to travel a ton. But uh, she is towards the end of, you know, almost ready to give birth around sometime in mid-August. So we're kind of doing more activities at home. We're just eating a really nice dinner, you know, really nice dinners. And eating and staying at home, playing some games, bidding on some eBay auctions and whatnot. Yeah, we have a fantastic time doing so. And I believe the reason EDH is so fun, it's so beginner-friendly. And she already wants to kind of modify the decks, even though they're optimized. She doesn't like them to be optimized. So everyone has their own idea of what their commander should look like. 
and everyone has their own idea of what commanders they love. I actually, I took down Brea because I never thought I would play Brea ever again because it's a very counterspelly infinite combo deck. But you know, I, I've lost a lot of commander recently, so maybe I gotta build up the Brea. I never lost a Brea deck. The Brea deck I have is just Lion's Eye Diamonds. You got, they got like so many different combos you can go off on turn one or two. Well, if we're, with the right draw, of course. So, I do think that Asmund Go and Penguins, as as they, they're really big into these. I, I would love to see Disguise Toast, who got his start doing Hearthstone. Uh, Hearthstone, I don't think is doing well. Now, MTG Arena still sucks, in my opinion. I gave my MT. I give. I have two MTG Arena accounts. I don't even know log into my other one, but I gave my MTG Arena account to my significant other's nephew. I actually put quite a bit of money into that account, but it's an older account, of course, right? So I would say that Magic. I mean, Magic is just doing so good right now. It is. Uh, so my Magic YouTube shorts have been doing the best they've ever done. I don't even make. I forgot even to make them today, but they're doing really well. People like them. When you are, you know, the content creators are doing well. You can't really fault Magic right now because things are looking up. Things are looking up and up. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at my shorts now. There's, there's some with thousands, almost ten thousand plus views. And uh, people will just continue to click on it. So there must be some audience for that. Maybe we can live stream it. I was thinking of live streaming on my other channel. But I like the direction Magic the Gathering is heading. I believe, I truly believe it's the correct direction with Universe Beyond and these influencers who aren't even paid. They're just organically. And that's what it is. That's what it is. They are organically being drawn to this game. Because it's so damn good. I mean, that is, that's great. That is great, in my opinion. Um, yeah, that is exactly what you want. You don't want people, you don't want people to get into the game only because you paid them. They're never going to love the game. And that's basically MetaZoo with Pay Money Wubby, right? He, he didn't really like it, but he loves Magic. No one's paying him to play Magic. Same with Penguin Zero. There, you don't need to pay these people to enjoy something. Like you can see the actual enjoyment of them playing ED8. Probably the first game that Penguin Zero has played in a, a very long time, and he's just having a blast. You know, and I'm glad that Pay Money Wubby is bringing in other content creators to this space because they actually love it, regardless of how much money they're making from it. And that's what that's what Magic the Gathering is. I would love to see more actual fans instead of Autumn Buccellis, right? Where they just kind of cram like they them down your throat all the time. And they actually have no interest in this game other than to profit from it. And even when you give them infinite amount of money, even when you give them $100 million, they don't give a damn about the game. Or you can watch two huge, huge internet celebrities play EDH together and actually have a good time because they actually love and enjoy playing Magic. It's good to see this stuff.